<laughs> you know, I tell you this much about old Johnny Gobbs. Oh boy, be that that gift that keeps on giving. You know what I mean? Uh, yep, I can prepare it this time. You know what I mean? So yeah. All right, cue the intro, please. So I got to get my hustle on. You know, I think at this point, old Johnny Gobbs earned himself a new nickname. I think from here on out, I'm gonna start calling this motherfucker the uh, the uh, Gaggly Gacker. I'm just saying, man, because at this point, man, we all know what what, what old boy want, wants to be gagging on, you know what I'm saying? And that's um, some eggplants, if you know what I mean. But anyway, y'all, what's good? What's good, y'all? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying uh, welcome to another reaction vidya. And yes, as you can tell from the title of this vidya and uh, from that intro, um, old gaggly gacker himself, Johnny Gobbs, he's still at it, you know what I'm saying? And my man Church, of course, put out a brand new video simply called Harry Potted Meat, which just sounds all kinds of wrong. And uh, the Gobbler of Trash Can Fire. And we got the fire emoji in the title as well. So any, anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into this, shall we? By like the hit hit. Go. Harry Potter and the Gobbler of Trash Can Fire. Bugging. Guys, this is Justin Adams right here. Right here. Listen. The fuck are you doing over there? Playing up? Yeah. Um. Weren't you the the uh, the uh, same uh, crackhead who was um accusing Church and um you know his Ray his Ray Hell and Eat Cornbread cult of being racist? And yeah, here you are slapping some some up Church music. What a complicated gentleman you are. I'm just saying. What the fuck are you doing over there? Playing up church today? What are you reenacting when I showed him to everybody or something? I think it's wrong. Of this man to... To tell... This boy's girlfriend in this video... To leave him. To kick him out. Oh, boo-hoo, crowd fucking river. Well, take him in then. Exactly. If you're going to be falling for the, this this piece of shit, you know, old cracky teeth, then um, why don't you do what, what, what church did, you know what I'm saying, and provide the, this this dude with the uh, shelter, you know what I'm saying? Bring him into your house. Hmm? Hmm? Especially when, when you're going out there and telling, trying to convince all of us, including yourself, that you're a good dude. Hi, huh, Mr. Good Dude? Dagburn. You probably cuddle with him. Y'all can like spoon sideways on a twin bed or something, you know? And we all know because, you know, again, you know, with the way you had your mouth open while old boy was talking, we all know you you want to you wanna gag on, on his eggplant. So, hey, there you go. There's your opportunity, my guy. You'd probably be whispering in his ear, Cracky, sing me a Kenny Chesney song. Sing me to sleep. Cracky be like, all right, what do you want to hear? Sing me that one song that says, I want to know how forever feels. I've been around the block a time or two. Or better yet, you, you, you can sing, sing that that one song where um, it had the uh, saxophone music in it. You know, the one that goes... I'm just saying. Done almost everything a boy could do. I mean, do y'all not understand this? This guy has changed his life around. He's a better person. And, and he is just telling his story. Don't you know he's telling a story? It probably... Take your ass a month to read a Berenstein Bears book. <laughs> and, you know, it broke my heart that night that he was, you know, that he was talking to me. What'd you do, kiss his pe Bro, please, if only you had a heart, fucking Tim, man. That he was, you know, that he was talking to me. Would you Actually, that, that, that's not fair to the Tim, man, because even, even the Tim, man, you know what I'm saying, knew a thing or two about love and compassion, you know what I'm saying, uh, before he even got his heart. And, you know, it broke my heart that night that he was, you know, that he was talking to me. What'd you do, kiss his pee-pee and fix it? <laughs> me and my wife sit here and cry. 
fucking church. <laughs> Bruh. Hide together. I don't give a fuck. With him, man, while he was sitting there talking about his story. Only cry when babies die. I like how this this dude um has that selective hearing. Apparently, he didn't hear the part where Church said uh, that old Craggy Teeth has um, some kids that he's not taking care of. You know what I'm saying? So, you want to feel sorry for this dude, right, who is not taking care of his kids. Well, then you, you can go fuck off, too. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Uh, no, Ryan didn't play. He didn't play the whole video. You know what I mean? He didn't play the whole video. Well, no shit. Who wants to watch a forty-two minute long video of your dumbass talking? Exactly. I'm pretty sure a lot of us lost a uh, lost a few brain cells. You know what I'm saying? Hell, I feel like I'm losing more brain cells whenever I hear your fucking ass talk. And you know, he he had this guy to the point where he was at the point where he wanted to kill himself. Yeah, that's what happened. I bought him so many trucks and gave him so many opportunities, he wanted to kill himself. Even gave him shelter, you know what I'm saying? And one of those trucks that uh, Church gave him, traded him for a fucking dirt bike that had no title, so odds are it was probably a hot bike, you know what I'm saying? Bruh, rather than have, keeping the uh, truck that Church bought, which was, you know, so he can have a, a, a safe vehicle for himself, his baby mama, and his baby. So, you still want, want to feel sorry for his ass. Well, I'm sorry. Not sorry. But, ain't nobody over here feeling sorry for his ass. And ain't nobody over here feeling sorry for your ass either. You know what I mean? Bruh. And that's bad, man. Your acting skills suck ass. And he finally, he finally found someone. Finally found someone. That cared about him. A, meaning he, he he finally found someone that he can take full advantage of. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Unlike you, Ryan. Yeah, I don't care about your fake crying. Fuck all y'all. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Spare us the uh, crocodile tears. I ain't gonna sit here. You think all this is funny, man. Yes, I do think it's funny. And so do I. And that's why I enjoy making these videos. Aha, aha, aha. Ah, ah. You like to troll people. T R O W troll. You like to troll. I would keep trolling, 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 trolling. Keep trolling, 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 trolling. Look at no Facebook marketplace with a troll in motor. I'm serious. I'm a troll. People in my hometown know that I'm serious. Oh, how spooky. I still don't give a fuck. Yo, where, where, where's um, where's um, Scott Hall at so he can do this? There's a time to joke around. There's a time to play around. Yeah, but there's times to be. Yeah, and that's every time we see yo dumb ass on a camera. You know what I'm saying? Serious. Psst. I seriously don't give a fuck. That goes for two of us. I mean, you're you're messing people's lives up, man. Hey, man. Dude, please. I said this once. I said it a thousand times. Y'all are some grown ass men. Once you become some grown ass men and you start making dumb decisions after dumb decisions after dumb decisions, there ain't no feeling sorry for your dumb ass. Bruh, again, spare us the crocodile tears, man. You know what I mean? Y'all are some grown ass men, so instead of crying on camera like a little biznatch, fucking start doing some grown man shit. How about that? You're posting the videos for everyone to watch. We're just watching them. Mm hmm. If you don't want no one to watch them, don't post them. And don't care. Exactly. Stop embarrassing yourself on a public platform. I care that you're doing it. Well, ding, ding, ding. You got it right. No, I don't care. This is my question to you. What, Dingleberry? <laughs> Did Sony ever offer you a record deal, you and Justin? Well, on my part, I'm gonna say none of your fucking business because uh, it's none of your fucking business. On Justin's part, I don't know. I fucking doubt it. I want to know that. Pretty sure. Um, I mean, 
I, I won't. Ha- I don't have to say it either. But I mean, I will because only because Church put it out there. There's a reason why Church has a Lambo. You want to know the story behind how and why he got that Lambo? There's videos that you can go look up. My guy, he tells that story many times, and let's just say it involves a record label offer. Okay, well, first off, I don't give a fuck what you want to know. Nobody gives a shit about you. Uh, second off, what would it, what would you knowing a fucking random fact? How would that help you? I want to know if he was there at the time that uh, uh, at your place at the <laughs> at the time, Luke Combs and Taylor uh, Taylor was there. Are you a fan, bruh? Like, what the fuck? You know what? I'm gonna sound angry and ask you stuff I think is interesting about things. Okay, people take pictures of me standing in my front yard, like, almost lighting myself on fire. If Luke Combs came to my house, there'd be a picture. Somewhere. Because in the video, he's sitting there saying that you told him that you was going to make him the next Justin Moore. Yeah, and he ended up the next dumbass on my YouTube channel, alongside of you. What's your point? Mm-hmm. And y'all, and y'all still, still keep feeding, feeding us trolls, as as you put it. What happened? Well, you see, there's this thing called work you gotta do, and he didn't really like doing that thing. Mm-hmm. So it didn't work. Mm-hmm. I don't know what happened between y'all. Why y'all had to fall out? We didn't have a falling out. I just fired him because he didn't like working. You see, Gobbleneck, you don't build things like I've built by hiring lazy asses. You- Especially lazy asses with fucking sob stories. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit, man. If your ass ain't, ain't trying to work, you know what I mean? Then um, you, you don't need to be around folks like me or church. You know what I mean? Bruh. That's why we on here every day working our asses off. You know what I'm saying? Instead of crying over shit. You know what I mean? That we don't have in uh, crying over <clears throat> people who could be, you know, throwing shit in our laps. You know what I'm saying? Like opportunities, shelter, you know what I'm saying? And uh, whatever else they have to offer. You know what I mean? Old boy had his chance and he fucked it off. You know what I'm saying? And he don't want to take care of his responsibilities like his kids. And you still want to vouch for him? You still want to fucking vouch for that, that, that motherfucker, man? Fuck you. Y'all, y'all deserve each other. You fired the lazy asses. Mm hmm. I do not know. I don't know. You do realize everyone here. You, you know what, my guy? You need to ask yourself this question, right? If you were a lazy ass, would you hire you? I've asked myself this question. If I was a lazy ass, would I hire me? Fuck no, I wouldn't. For the lazy asses. I do not know. I don't know. You do realize everyone here doesn't give a fuck if you do or don't know something. We actually don't give a fuck about you at all. We're just all kind of sitting here amazed, like, look at this creature. P.S. The creature is you. And just having the time of our lives. Just laughing at your goofy ass. You fucking spaz. Oh, yes, it's true. And we owe it all to you. But I know that some part of this story is true. It's pitiful, man. Yeah, super pitiful. Boo hoo. We're all. Says a guy who's crying and bitching on the camera. All crying and sobbing and depressed. Yep. And you can make a roast videos. Make all the roast videos you want to about me. I am. So am I. You're just helping me, pal. Yeah, it must be opposite day in your fucking brain every day. You're, you're also helping us, too. I'm just saying. And you're hurting yourself. New album, People's Champ, drops February 4th. Don't miss it. Ow, I'm hurting myself. I can't wait for that album, man. Let's go. Because I've got a lot of people reaching out to me and saying, Hey, bub... Just hang in there. Well, good. You should get him to take you to a goddamn dated Applebee's or something. I don't know. Mm. Hang in there. You'll be all right. Met her down at Applebee's. She said that she really want me. 
So basically, all, all, all he just said right there is like, man, you, you can make fun of me all you want because I got friends. I got real friends who are telling me to hang in there. Hey, good for you. I tried to hang up the phone on you when you was calling that night. What are you too fucking dumb to find the big red button? That's the end button. Click. Other. You wouldn't leave it, you wouldn't <laughs> leave it be. Well, yeah, it was fun sitting in my chair, FaceTime calling you through Instagram and just muting it. And making the screen black and watching you and your whole family jump around like y'all found a fucking big ass crystal or something or a fucking long lost priceless egyptian relic and it was just a black screen with no sound and now you want to now you want to you're you're sad man I'm, i pray for you yeah my life is real sad boo hoo please pray for me <laughs> Bruh, you, you need to be praying for yourself, you know what I'm saying? And asking others to be praying for you. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> Ain't nobody ab above, you know what I mean, having having a little, little prayer in their lives. You know what I mean? I've asked for a prayer in my life, you know what I mean? It's done wonders for me. Same. I pray for you. Okay, it's very sweet of you. Mm hmm. Thanks. You know what? Why, when you made that first video, how come you didn't start out with that? Hmm? Hmm? You, m Mr. Mr. God love you, Mr. God respect you, man. I'm not questioning your your, your uh, faith, but I do find it funny, however, that the first video you put out against church was you accusing him and his supporters of being racist. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm sorry, but what are what are one of the uh, the uh, Ten Commandments that Christ has for us? Uh, something about thou shalt not judge, thou shalt not pass judgment unto others. If thou shalt pass judgment unto others, then judgment shall be passed unto thee. And what was the first thing that you did? You accuse him and all of us who support church of being racist. And it took you about what four or five videos later. For you to finally come to your senses and say, man, instead of me accusing him and all these other people that I don't know of being racist, hmm, you know what? I should pray for these people. Bruh. You and your whole family, bro. <clears throat> for real, I do, I do, I do, man. Thanks. You're doing great. Again, bro, you ain't convincing anybody of anything except for possibly yourself and with that tone in your voice, it sounds like you don't even buy into your own bullshit. I'm just saying. You're doing great. I got a different outlook on life than what you do. Yeah, I think we all could tell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so did and so did everyone else that came before you that went and made asses out of themselves on camera. If I had the money that you had, bro. And look where and look where where that mindset got them. I'd be, I'd be doing a lot of changing. What the fuck do I care? I don't care. It doesn't, it doesn't mean nothing to me. I wouldn't be buying cars. Well, you probably wouldn't be buying cars because your ass probably don't have a driver's license. I do, so like I love buying cars. Yep, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's one of the things I love about church. He, he a car guy just like me. You know what I mean? Bruh. I, I can imagine me in church, you know what I mean, having a conversation about, about cars. We do anything like that, I'd be I'd probably be building a homeless shelter in my hometown for the people that's homeless. I bet you would. I bet you would. Yeah. Yeah, well probably should have thought about that before you decide to spend all your money on crack. Just saying. Probably what I'd do. I'd give a lot of money to Justin. And the only reason we know he spent his money on crack is because he actually came out and admitted to doing so. Adams. Well, that, that doesn't sound like a good business. This is why you're not a businessman. Yeah, man. I, I would build, I'd build homeless people houses that I don't know before I build myself one. And I would give a lot of money to people who just fucked off a lot of money and never paid nobody back or anything. If that ain't some ass backwards like thinking, I don't know what is. That's what I would do. I would. Yeah, we know. Mm-hmm. Sure would. Keep on making them roast videos. If that were true, you'd be saving up money now and try to work on accomplishing that goal now. I'm just saying. I mean, you kind of do it for me. <clears throat> okay, I will. Bye. 
All right, y'all. So that was Church with uh, Harry Potter Meat and the Gobbler of Trash Can Fire. And, man, I don't care. As long as old boy keep putting out these videos and as long as Church keeps putting out these roast videos, I'm going to keep putting out reaction videos. You know what I'm saying? Because, man, I'm... Because, like I said, I am having the time of my life. And I owe it all to y'all for show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, y'all. Hey, so, yeah, for future reference, if Church keeps putting out these roast videos on this boy who keeps putting out these videos and making himself look, look, look foolish, yes, I will continue to follow this, all right? So, yeah. Really hope you guys are, are enjoying these uh, reaction videos thus far. I know I'm having fun making them. So, yeah. And as long as you guys keep watching, as long as you guys keep uh, interacting with them, I will continue to make them. All right? So, anyway, don't forget to check out all the links in the description down below. And if you have a reaction request, got instructions uh, in the description down below. Feel free to check that out. And uh, proceed the way that makes you the most comfortable. Don't forget to support the fam bam as well. In in the uh, folks that rock with this section, you know what I'm saying? Very much appreciate it. Think I nailed everything. So with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. Saying y'all have a blessed one. Catch y'all on the next one. All right? Peace.